The third of the Old Etonians, involved in the Balliol feud at Oxford, is also easy to write about. He is another war poet, Patrick Shaw Stewart. There were biographies written of him by Ronald Knox in 1920 and by Miles Jebb in 2010. It's remarkable to me that people are still writing about these characters over a hundred years ago after they lived. The other thing which made Patrick Shaw Stewart easier to write about was that his great niece still has a trunk full of his letters home to Lady Desborough and to Billy Grenfell from Balliol and from the front of the First World War. He was well known for his flowery use of language, regularly interspersed with Greek and Latin phrases, some of which I've managed to pick up and use in the play. Nothing, I repeat, nothing could be further from the reality. To the trained soldier, war is his raison d'etre, his apologia pro vita sua.